So the Photon Maiden Valentine's event finally came, and I give up. I give up! I give up on Ibusaki. I finally understand. There's no escaping Mahosaki. Birthday card, Mahosaki. Relation event, Mahosaki. Hell, I wrote a what if story on if the Rinky actually took Piki's offer to join them in first mix, and it turned into Mahosaki. My own hand betrayed me. Or, at least that's what I thought. But I was just blind. In denial. It only makes sense. In a story where Happy Around is missing Rinku because she joined Piki after the Christmas Live was so successful, I wanted to explore them from the perspective of an outsider. That outsider can't be Piki because they're the ones with Rinky in the first place. And because the story is set to be right before the first D4 Fest, they don't know any of the other units, besides Photon that is. So we have Photon Maiden. But guess what? The only strong connection between Happy Around and Photon Maiden is Mahosaki. So the entire thing ends up being a conversation between the two, despite how I wanted to make the focus about Rinku and just how much Happy Around needs her. Anyways, the Photon Valentine's event was really good. 10 out of 10 would recommend. But as I was lying awake at night thinking about Photon Maiden as I usually do, a realization hit me harder than I want Ibuki to slap my- <clears throat> sorry. But if you haven't read it yet, this is your spoiler warning. So this event is Photon Maiden filming a chocolate commercial when Noah notices that none of them have a drop of experience in love, and thus they can't quite nail the delivery of their fan service lines. Personally, I like that delivery of those lines because their characters shown through a lot, but our cute hunter isn't satisfied. So Noah, being the genius that she is, writes love scenarios for each member of Photon. God, I love Noah so much. But here's the thing, the rant that I went on earlier had a point. I wasn't just complaining about Mahosaki for no reason. The Photon Maiden Valentine's event is pro Mahosaki. Fukushima Noah, whose judgment I trust as the word of God when it comes to observing the cuteness of Photon, is a Mahosaki shipper. Look at the scenario she creates for Saki. It's so obviously Maho. I know she says Senpai and Maho is in the same year, but come on, that's Maho. You can tell from the way the Senpai is super reserved and Saki has to be the one to pull them along, almost playfully. They also DJ together and Saki even references the time she went to her house. Wait, that only happened in my fanfiction, ignore that part. Anyways, that's that. Sure, donuts catering to Maho Saki, that's nothing new. But then we get to Ibuki's scenario. Let's see, her imagined partner is a Kohai, alright, I can see that, they're playing to her senpai appeal. Very eager to help and be relied upon, okay, sure. This eagerness leads to the reveal of the chocolates that Ibuki was hiding? That's just Saki! Tell me that's not her! This is the same eagerness to please people that drives the Noah Saki lap pillow card. Noah ships Ibusaki! But if she also ships Maho Saki, how does that work? Well, Noah tailored each situation to each member of Photon, which means that she thinks that Saki likes Maho while Ibuki likes Saki. Man, you didn't have to do her like that. She's getting sister zoned canonically. You know what? I accept it. Ibusaki are really cute as sisters. I can live with that. I'll just be in the corner shipping sour recess or something because apparently that's canon.